Alright guys, Inferno here, and today I'll be going over some, well, not some changes, mainly one change, right? That is not confirmed yet, I want to get that out of the way. It's not a confirmed rework, but it's a potential rework, I suppose, for agility, right? Um, the agility stat. I don't know why I'm waving. Um, so, I'll go and switch to the Trello real quick. Right, so here we are, right? Um, this is in the... It's not the actual Arcanosi Trello, this is the Balancing Trello, which I found out about after the video I made earlier about the Vitality work. that's where that message was from. But anyway. Um, yeah, so this is not a confirmed change, right? This is, this is a critical priority rework that has to be accepted or confirmed by Vatex himself. But I think... I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but there's like... Vatex has said stuff about how he doesn't think Vitality should even, I mean not Vitality, Agility shouldn't really even be in the game or work how it should due to law reasons, right? So I think Vitality, Agility changes, sorry, probably, I mean, I, I don't think it'd be very surprising if Vatex himself approves it. Um, let's get into it. But yeah, let's get into it. So basically, um, let's go and read this. Essentially what this is saying is... It's going to reduce the amount of distance you get from dashing and jumping and so just make it pretty much the same distance but just way faster with the startup speed and the movement speed, right? Because right now agility does make you let you leap further and jump farther basically and I'm saying that's kind of bad because it lets you run. Whereas this will make it so if you're you know in a fight and you dash to dodge out of the way, if you have high agility it's going to be way, way faster, basically no startup, right? Um, yeah, almost an instantaneous dodge, almost. And I think this, actually, no, this, I think it will, okay, look, it says here. So I think that this rework is mainly going to be for in combat. Out of combat, it'll still make you move further and stuff. Um, so here's the actual changes. Oh, the nerfs first. So, you no longer keep momentum after dodging, which I think slows down your movement speed, basically. Um... Or, you know, you kind of get, can't really get as far. Um, same for jumps, right? You don't really go as high. I think that's what momentum should imply. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. Um, well, the heights are here. So momentum, in this case, would be just movement speed, I guess. Height's going to go down as well. I mean, yeah. Efficiency on the moves. Um, and exhaustion mechanic, which we'll get into in a second. Um, buffs here, so you get efficiency um, on how fast the movement speed is during your dodge, which is going to be... I mean, you're basically dodging instantly, right? You know, like, it's going to be like teleporting across, almost. Um, but you're going to be almost going the same distance with no agility. And... Yeah, startup scales 100% efficiency. So it's gonna be basically no startup when you press it, it just instantly happens, which is pretty good for PvP, um, but bad for running. Which I guess is the main reason for this change, right? It makes it better for PvP, worse for running from people. Um, I mean, that being said, I don't know if running from people is such a bad thing, but that, that's a different discussion, right? I'm not getting into that too much now. Crash and these abilities get stuff. Um, and seal chest no longer reduces your dodge or high. Okay, that's good. Now, this is a bit weird. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. It's a new status effect, right? Which, re which will reduce your. Basically, you're tired, right? Your agility will not really have any use. And, you know, you're even slower than normal. And this will happen when. Death credited. You have to be in. You have to be in combat, basically, right? This won't happen out of combat, which is good. Yeah, I'm just reading all this. I mean, you guys can read this, right? It's a pretty weird. I don't know how this means, to be honest. Um, oh, 
Oh, I think this is for after you kill a player. No, not kill a player. It's if you're trying to chase a player down, basically. Basically, you can't run from people, I guess, that are targeting you. That, that's the point of this. And you have to be someone who isn't in the party or clan um, for the person you're chasing to be hit by exhausted. Um... And it looks like it refreshes if you keep moving the same direction. So you discourage running in a straight line. So you... Okay. Oh, so I guess what this cone check means is... If you're literally within a... Cone distance of the person chasing you. I think that might literally be what it is. Okay, try to sum that up. Um, I think that was a bit overcomplicated, but I guess it's the balancing thing, right? They want to give the exact details. Um, I think you kind of simplify it down to... You won't be able to make us well it's gonna mainly be in combat right um basically agility will not really be that useful for gaining distance in combat but it will be useful for dodging attacks in combat basically so it's gonna hard cap running but you literally cannot run if this thing gets you literally cannot run from other people if this gets um people hunting you down so people have a bounty on you or whatever if they get yeah it, it, you basically can't run from them. Um, but if you do have agility and agility itself, I think will be a bit better if you have like an agility build because it is mainly getting buffed outside of it being useless when you're getting hunted down. Um, well, not useless, but it will be sort of. You can't run basically. But if you're still fighting, I think it'll still be a decent stat. So I'm not. I don't want to say this is a nerf to agility, but. It's, pretty big change right i mean i don't know why they're doing so many random changes i mean first it was a vitality one now it's this uh i don't really get it um uh, rather just i don't know who's putting time and effort into this but you know anyway um before i end the video i do want to show off i do have 200 agility right now just to show it off this is don't worry about the items are pretty bad but this isn't a full agility build i just got random agility items to put them on because i don't have any full agility build type items but this is the highest agility I can get from the random items by inventory, right? So I'm gonna show it off. Um, too much agility. Anyway. I mean, you can tell I can go pretty far compared to, you know, without any agility, right? I'll take my items off in a second, and then if I jump, I go pretty high. Dodge reflex goes pretty. I think dodge reflex might not be changing, but. And if I go. Wait. Turn off ultimate right here. I want to see what this does. Yeah, that goes pretty far, right? Um, I don't know why the cooldown that's still bugged for ultimate out leaps, but whatever. I don't want to try to see if I can deal with even more momentum. But I don't know if that um, cooldown is going to be back down. Okay, well. That is pretty much it for this video though, um, actually, can this thing hurry up and get off cooldown right, I want to try it, see how far I can go. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's not that great. Um, I'll take my items off real quick, just show you guys what it looks like without agility. You know, pun, dancing around, leaping, um, just take everything off. Yeah, you feel that, it feels a lot slower, right? I mean, not slower, I suppose, but I mean, way less distance. I'm not even going close to as high before. I was like jumping up before. And yeah, I don't not go high at all. So you can definitely see the difference, right? Um, 
basically the changes will be this difference you feel after having taken on those agility items will not be as big, right? It's not going to be as big of a deal, I think. Um, which I think is kind of lame, I guess, but... Um, <coughs> it is what it is, right? So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one.